Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're looking again at Equivocate and how I would use it in a mastering session and specifically how I used the matching mode of Equivocate uh, to kind of fix a song, get it more in the ballpark of the other songs on the album. So we've got two tracks here. Uh, this is the first one, which is more similar to uh, uh, all, the, all the other songs on the album, and then I'll jump over to the other song, which doesn't sound as good. And here's the other track. So the EQ is totally different on those songs. They don't really fit together, but Equivocate made a big difference. And there are other matching EQs. Uh, Ozone's EQ has that built in. Uh, there's some other ones out there, but uh, this one was free for a limited time and uh, ended up being really helpful. I don't have any master effects on, by the way. I just have the track plugins on here from the mastering session. Anyway, so uh, once again, here is the... The reference. Take what you got, but I'll never settle. And here's the uh, the second song with Equivocate matched uh, to the other reference track. And I'll bypass it. Okay, so let's go through the steps of matching this EQ. So we're going to need some audio in the same time position as our song that we're EQing. So we'll just grab a section of this song, make a copy of it over here. And now we'll open up the track routing. We're going to disable the master send on this track temporarily. And we're going to send into the, uh, the new song and Unity Gain, Audio 1 and 2, that's what's on the track. It needs to go into the sidechain input of Equivocate, so new channels on receiving track 3 and 4. So now this audio is going into inputs 3 and 4, these inputs of Equivocate, and this one is coming into 1 and 2. The processing is going to be applied to 1 and 2. All right, so we're not going to hear this right here, but Equivocate is, and it's going to use that for its matching EQ mode. Reset gains. Let's turn matching EQ up to 100. Enable matching EQ, and we'll press play. We don't want to run that for the entire song or anything. Just a few seconds, just to get the general curve. And uh, it doesn't need a plus six boost. I think that's... A little extreme, so we'll just bring that down a little bit. This should be a lot closer now. So we'll enable this track for playback. We'll remove our reference thing, and let's try that. Here's before. After. Huge difference. It's a lot closer to the reference track and closer to the other songs on the album. So uh, it's not perfect. You still need to probably tweak things, maybe add in another EQ to, uh, to get things right for this track. But it definitely saved a lot of time by uh, doing this initial curve, getting things closer to each other. So that's how I use the matching EQ mode in Equivocate on a mastering job recently. As I said in the last video, this is a really cool plugin, something that's kind of unique. Um, the way that it's laid out is really interesting and it has a great sound. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.